Don't get me wrong. 100% grade A fag, but the job description calls for celibacy. If I wasn't up to it, I wouldn't have applied. Right. Not that I'm a saint. I like to look. I like to get looked at. Thomas. And I do get my share of attention when I'm not decked out in Vatican drag. I have to confess, I, I get a bit of a thrill when some guy's been cruising me and finally works up the nerve to some kind of proposition. The rush I get when I let him know I'm a priest, it's pretty intense. I like it. Our function really is shepherd-like. All people are born with this innate faith. But when life's experiences diffuse it like so many scattered sheep, it's our task to help find that faith and collect it. Keep it. If a brother had a transgression. I can see the possibility of two priests or a priest and another man, but children is hardly a peccadillo to be turning a blind eye to. Breaking a vow of celibacy and pederasty are two different things. I don't feel the church attracts those kind of men. Child molesters. I feel certain men. Careful where you point that finger, Donald. Statistically, most child molesters are straight. Would you betray his confidence in your responsibility as his confessor? Well, of course, I couldn't go to the authorities, but I'd certainly stop him. I'd encourage him to... get help. What if he didn't want your help? What if the only thing he required of you was to hear his confession and give him absolution? They can tell him to find another priest. I am a child of God. And don't go throwing chapter and verse at me because I can answer every single one of them plus give you another interpretation or verse that says just the opposite. They named sodomy after the city, not vice versa. And the sooner the church learns that you can't frighten and condemn people into behavior, the happier I'll be. You have to lead with an example of love and compassion. The bottom line comes down to Christ and the example he set for us. God made us all. And he loves us all. 